Hi guys, it's me, Sharon, and welcome back to my channel. Today on Creative Glam, I'm excited to be participating in a challenge. It's called Outside the Box Challenge, hosted by two sisters. One is Lacey, Lacey of Chad and Lacey TV, and the other is Chrissy, of Hosted by Chrissy. They both have wonderful DIY channels, and I will link their channel below in the description box. I will also link a playlist of all the channels that are participating in this Think Outside the Box Challenge. I'm excited. My project is going to be a gift box. A gift box that you could use for Mother's Day, Father's Day, or even a birthday. First thing I have to do is go outside and paint the items of my project. If this sounds like something you're interested in seeing, and I hope it is, stay tuned. I will give a list of the supplies you need to complete this project, and I'll be right back. Okay, so let's get started. I'm making a gift box, as I said earlier. I painted the box and a lot of time for it to dry. That's the lid, it's a super cute box. It's not um, something that you see very often. I got this at Joanne Fabrics a while ago and um, the inside is still the natural color that it was. I thought about painting the inside of the box and decided, ah, eh, that's okay. But um, I did uh, paint the top, the lid, I painted gold. The bottom, I painted like an off-white. And I figured these colors can go pretty much, whether it's a Mother's Day gift, a Father's Day gift, a birthday gift uh, for an adult or a child, it could work. Or even used as a hat box. I figure with the way that this looks, it could also be used um, as a display you know if you have one of those glam closets and um you have shelving um this would be very pretty on display but right now we're going to glam it up a little bit and um let's get started i'm going to move the lid out of the way for now along with the bow give myself more space to work with and um, I'm just going to embellish the sides. I decided I was going to embellish, um, not a lot, I don't want to overdo it, but I want to put four on each side. I mean, one on each, each side, north, south, east, west. When I glam this box up, I don't want to do too much. I just want to keep it simple, um, simple and elegant. That's what I'm going for. So then after the person, whoever gets this, this beautiful gift, in this beautiful gift box can repurpose this box and use it for something else and it's pretty enough to be displayed. That's the point. So I'm just gonna use some of the bling red ribbon I've got from that I got from the Dollar Tree and um, make my squares. That's two. And I got two more to go. the glue gun is going to work on this tape. I'm going to find out in just a second. It's even as 
possible, I line up the rhinestone. Once you get that top one down, the bottom one's not as difficult because it doesn't have as much movement. It's not as, as much play. I mean, there is some, but not as much. I'm not using a lot because I don't think I need a lot. Not to mention the fact that um, The burn factor on these are quite high. <laughs> and that makes me nervous. Hey, the tape did okay. I'm impressed. Mm, get rid of the strings. I'll clean the strings up later. Okay, then I'll take and I will do the complete opposite side. Like I said, I'm doing it lightly, just around the uh, the, the edges. Oops! I touched it with the nozzle of the glue gun, and um, it started making the backing melt. Now, what I did not do is mark where my lid is gonna go. Is that gonna be a problem? It is going to be a slight problem if I don't to make sure I should have did this with the lid on. Okay. So make sure you measure where your your triangle or your embellishments on the outside are going to go and leave room for the lid. Don't do like I just did. I didn't leave enough room for the lid. The lid can go on, just not as low as it really should go. <laughs> How low should it go? Okay. And then, so the other two, I will make sure that I leave space at the top. This is so pretty. I'm really loving the embellishments. Gorgeous. Now I'm going to take and add the feet. I got the feet from um, I got the feet. I painted them along with the box, along with the, the lid, and um, I got these from Joanne Fabrics. You're just so cute. Woo! All right. I got the feet on there. Can you see that? Then, we can add the top. And we can add the bow. Super cute, super cute, super cute. Now, I couldn't think whether I wanted to add the bow or whether I wanted to do just some small flowers. Like a, a bouquet of flowers there. I thought that was pretty too. But I think I want to go with the bow now that I've got my embellishments on. It's just, I don't know, something about it works for me. I'll glue these down if I decide to let them stay. But right now I'm just trying to see, do I like it? And um, so far I'm liking it. This is looking more Mother Day-ish, um, but you can also, you can hot glue uh, like miniature lipsticks or miniature crayons or, or miniature playing cards. Anything that's tiny that you could glue to your bow that kind of denotes what season or time of year or holiday or uh, whatever the gift is being given for. 
playing cards if it's someone who likes to play cards, lip gloss if it's someone who wears lip gloss, um, little racing cards if it's someone who plays with the racing cards, flowers if it's more of a, a, a Mother's Day thing. Um, you can also put little jewels in here, like little, you can use pearls. Um, there's lots of things you can do. I think that is super cute. Like I said, it started out as a gift for any season, for any, any occasion, but it's looking more and more to me like a Mother's Day gift. <laughs> Not to forget about those dads. Dads are important too. into fishing you can also glue some uh, 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 fish hooks or little things that uh, little embellishments that denote fishing there's so many things you could do that's it guys I think that's pretty much it let me put the lid on here that is gorgeous I want to thank you all so very much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed it. I really enjoyed participating in the Think Outside the Box Challenge hosted by Lacey and Chrissy. It was a lot of fun. And again, as I told you, my project was super easy, super simple, and super cute. I hope you enjoyed it. I had a great time making it. If you did, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button below and the notification bell so that you'll be notified when I upload new videos. I upload new videos every week between Wednesday and Thursday. Make sure you tune in. And on that note, enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you next week. Bye.